This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Hey guys. Uh, today I'm back with another challenging task in Pega. So this task is all about generating a PDF based on some sections. I think most of you are already aware how to generate a PDF in Pega. Like let's say for example, the client gave you some static text, some paragraphs with some text and he said like, you know, on click of a button or somewhere here, you know, they, they want a PDF to be generated with the content, the static content they have given. Okay, you can generate a PDF. I think you are, you're already aware, you find a lot of articles or videos here and there. If you don't know and if you want me to make a video on this, drop me in the comments, I'll do it. Now, assuming that you know how to generate a normal PDF with a static content, I want to show you how can you generate a PDF which contains the submitted screens or the sections as a source. Let's say, for example, you have like three screens, screen one, screen two, screen three. You gave data in all the three screens. Now, when you reach the fourth screen, you click on get PDF. Whatever data you have submitted in all the three screens, the same sections, you want to get them in the PDF. Okay. So how can you do that in Pega is what I'm going to teach you. It is just like, let's say, for example, you made a fund transfer in HDFC bank. Screen 1, you give the payee details. Screen 2, you give the amount, the transaction type, XYZ things. Screen 3 was again some XYZ information. And finally, on screen 4, you just say share receipt or something. You get a PDF which contains exact screenshots of screen 1, screen 2 and screen 3. So how do you do that in Pega is what I'm going to show you today. So now, let me just, just create a work object in my project. So this is my screen one. Okay, here I have some logo, some video, some things like this. I'm just entering some info like this. Okay, let me just give something for the time. So this is screen one. I just filled all the info. Okay, now I move to screen two. In screen two, the data is automatically pulled through some service in the back end. I have a SOAP or REST connection and the data pulls, gets pulled actually. Okay, so there's some data, right? Now I'm moving to screen three. Now let's say in screen three, you have a button. On click of that button, whatever you gave in screen one and screen two, you want to get it as a PDF, a document. Okay, so when you click on this, like this, I want the PDF to come see exactly whatever I have selected, everything like this. Okay, even the formatting you can get exactly like it is in the section. Okay, you can do that. Now, how can you achieve this in Pega? So, in order to achieve this, first of all, you need to write down an activity. In the activity, you can call an OOTB activity view as PDF. Now, this asks you two inputs. One is the HTML rule name. The other one is what is the output PDF name, the generated PDF name. This is your choice. Give whatever you wish to give. Now, how about this HTML stream rule? So, you need to create a HTML stream rule like this. Okay. And this you have to mention the sections. Which all sections you want to convert it into a PDF. Like this you need to mention. Like this. Okay, and this is going to help you with the maintenance of the styles, like how it looks in a section exactly the same way it will look in the PDF. 
in my case it is not working maybe this this could be because it's a personal edition maybe pega hasn't included this styles or something but in, in my real time the same code worked okay exact look and feel of the section comes in the pdf as well exactly the same uh, you know inline grid double or inline grid triple you know however the alignment is in the section exact alignment will come in the pdf as well so this is for that one just give this html stream rule name here okay now you call this activity wherever you want let's say i wanted to call it on a button click i just went to the button we want the pdf to open in a separate tab right separate window so open url and window use page okay activity name and window name should be underscore self that's it that's it if you click it is opening you just saw right like this only thing is alignment is not coming properly that could be because of the missing styles uh actually there is also a dss which we need to enable for the styles to work i enabled it still the same okay could be because of the missing styles is what i'm thinking but you can give a trial in your real time and you can see okay so this is pretty simple it's just going to convert like whatever you gave in a section it's going to be converted into a pdf so tomorrow if you add some fields in the section or you remove some fields from the section whatever changes you do automatically the pdf also gets updated you need not again come and make some changes for the pdf generation so you can add as many sections as you want just add a break tag section name and the rule type as html section that's it as many sections as you want you can add and the sections get converted into pdfs so this is very useful uh, rather than you know uh, rewriting piece of code to generate a pdf with all this content okay putting all that in a correspondence rule or something that is not a good approach better you know include the sections to be converted into a pdf and this works fine hope this helps thank you so much bye bye